a garden typical of the cottages of this period. Long and narrow. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's like walking into an enchanted woodland. And you can see where the original has fallen. The original was planted here and has obviously been blown. And this a piece would originally have been up here. I would have branched away. And it says something for the resilience and the enthusiasm of the Bramley to grow again, that it's rooted where the boughs kiss the ground, it's gone away again. It's so vigorous, it's got so much energy that even being blown down by the wind won't prevent it. it certainly won't hold it back. You hear people talking about living history and this, this really is living history. It's like standing next to a cathedral. This is a cathedral of horticulture. And by 1944, the fruit census of that year tells us that there were over two million Bramleys, all taken from this one tree. Every single Bramley you've ever eaten, every single Bramley tree that has ever been planted has come from this one. 